This is Andrew for The Chosen Prime with a video review for Takar Tomy Legends LG43 uh, Triptychon, which is the Japanese release of Titan's Return um, Triptychon. Um, I will be up front. Um, this toy overall is essentially the same as the US release, from the plastic color to the paint details to the sticker details. Um, essentially, this is the same exact toy in the U.S. and Japanese releases. I have heard the QC is a little bit better on this Japanese release, and specifically the hips. I've had no issues with the hips on this particular um, copy that I have here. And so we'll go through the individual details here of uh, this version of Tripticon anyway. So here you can see his box. It is in Japanese. Um, it has some nice uh, Tripticon artwork on the front, and then standard kind of legends um, details around it. You do get a nice tall... Um, version here of his uh, photo in his different modes. It's a little bit bigger um, box overall than the uh, US release, but essentially he comes to, does come packaged um, kind of up in pieces in the cardboard here. And then as far as his other pieces, he does come with a sticker sheet. And again, the stickers are essentially the same. Um, the actual sticker detail is the same across the US Japanese release, but you do get a different sticker sheet here with Japanese is a little bit bigger. And you can see here that I have uh, stickered up um, this version of Trypticon here. So we'll be able to look at that kind of detail. And then his instructions, and instructions of course are different. So the US release is just a uh, kind of the standard Tides Return uh, black and white uh, one sheet. Whereas this, not only do we have the instructions with the sticker um, instructions, but then we have an actual uh, comic here that you can see. So he does, the, the instructions are actually a little bit different uh, here for this version of Trypticon. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at details here for uh, LG43. Take a closer look here at LG43. You can see that his dinosaur mode here is very evocative of the G1 version of Trypticon. Again, this uh, toy here essentially is the same um, toy overall as the uh, US version from the plastic color and paint detail and sticker detail, but still a very nice um, updated take here of a Classics Generations Titans Return uh, version of Trypticon here. Um, as far as his overall height, he is uh, 18 and a half inches here from the, uh, his feet to the top of his head here. And we'll get some comparisons a little bit. Unfortunately, I do not have the uh, U.S. version of Trypticon here to compare against if, uh, for later comparisons. But essentially, again, this is the same figure. As far as overall uh, mode or detail here for his head, his uh, jaw can open and close. He does have a ratcheting neck joint, so you can't move the head back. Um, you can take his uh, Titan Master here, for uh, the Headmaster for full tilt, and there's a space here with a plug for the Headmaster right here, so if you just plug it in into the head and press down the lever here, you can see that he gets the uh, little nose cannon that he had um, in the original G1 toy. And again, you can, you can just lift up on this, you don't need um, the Titan Master, and the same difference, you could uh, just... Uh, press down on the back here, the button there, to lift the head. And the other feature here for his uh, upper torso here is you can uh, open up his head, and he does have a, uh, a hole here in his mouth, so you can take his little Titan Masters, like this is the one for uh, Quake, and you can eat uh, little Titan Masters, which is a nice little bonus feature. And so if we open up his chest here, uh, just like the US toy, he's got these little uh, compartments here, where by feeding him the Titan Masters, kind of ends up in this little space. And you can fit quite a few uh, Titan Masters in this, in this area here. And again, you can see he gets some nice little sticker detail here um, in his uh, chest area. By default, his uh, back cannons here are usually folded on his back, but you can um, ratchet them forward and, or up if you like. You can also extend the cannons here if you like. And then one other little feature here is if you move the cannons like this, you can actually rotate his uh, head um, kind of using that transformation joint so you can't have him look side to side um, if you like. Nice little, again, bits of bonus uh, detail here for uh, um, Trypticon. His arms here are a nice stiff uh, rotation joint. You can bring it each one outwards quite a bit. There is an elbow joint. You can move forward and back. The wrist joint that can uh, pivot forward and down. And then the claws can um, open up and close. So you got a lot of motion and uh, posability as far as uh, these arms are concerned. You can see that he does come with a uh, full deluxe size uh, full tilt. And we'll go into his detail in a little bit. Taking a closer look at his lower torso here. See again, a lot of nice molded detail um, throughout. There's a uh, kind of clear plastic here. Again, all the stickers have been applied and add just a little bit of a uh, nice detail throughout. 
He does uh, have quite a bit of articulation here in his legs. And so he is a, a bit heavy. He's uh, over six pounds, but you do have uh, ratcheting legs to move them forward and back. And again, on this copy, uh, they're really nice and, and, and kind of uh, strong and secure. They don't feel like they're gonna they break the springs like some of the US ones I've had. And he does have uh, you know inward and outward ratchet there. The knees can also um, ratchet. Nice and smooth. And then he does have an ankle articulation. Nice strong ratchets there. And if you do, if you like, you can, I mean the standard for uh, Trypticon is to kind of have him I'm dragging his tail, but you are able to get him uh, balanced so that he is uh, lifting it above the ground as uh, an actual T-Rex would uh, um, be positioned. So you can have his tail uh, come up like that. And you can, with the tail, either have it raised up like this or kind of bring it in if you'd like. It's uh, up to you how you want to kind of lock that into place. And you can see how uh, he holds his stance uh, pretty well. Um, again, the ratchets in the legs on this particular copy feel really, really good. Nice and smooth, don't feel like they're gonna lock up. And then another little bit of detail here, which is fun, a little G1 homage, these little like forks here on the inner feet. Um, the original G1 toy had a walking feature and these were kind of required for balance and so it's nice that they've kind of uh, added it on this figure. And again, you can see all the nice bits of uh, sticker detail really help uh, his uh, dinosaur mode here uh, shine. Just like the G1 toy, uh, LG43, also has a little full tilt figure here. In this case, it's the Deluxe Class uh, uh, Titan Master here. And you can remove him from the chest. So to do that, we want to pull down on this little uh, kind of lock here. And then just holding um, that lock, pull upwards, and you can unpeg on um, full tilt here. And you can see these does some nice um, extra detail here for this uh, panel um, on Trypticon here. And if you'd like, you actually can um, unpeg um, this purple section from this clear piece. You just need to pop out um, these pieces here. So if you didn't want that part on him, you could actually uh, remove it if you like. So let's go take a closer look here at full tilt. Take a closer look here at full tilt's uh, car mode. You can see it's the same exact figure as the US release. Same uh, purple uh, throughout. The only real paint details are these little bit of gray, the sticker details, and then for the robot mode here. Um, essentially, this is deluxe class size, so if we bring in, uh, this is deluxe class uh, getaway, you can see that uh, um, full tilt here is just slightly smaller than your standard uh, deluxe size car. He does have his little uh, gun here, which is pegs on top, which is for the robot mode, so we can unpeg it. And so there's his standard mode. We can open up the cockpit here, and there is where his uh, Titan Master can sit, his little pilot. Um, Unfortunately, here on the Japanese one, there is no extra paint detail here on the Titan Master Headmaster figure, just uh, just for the robot mode. The transformation for Full Tilt uh, follows the standard kind of uh, Titan's Return uh, Deluxe Class uh, transformation. So we can start by uh, taking these little uh, pieces here on the uh, front of the vehicle and unpegging them. That will release um, these panels on the back. So then now we can take these pieces, his legs, and extend them. We can take this little piece here at his crotch. We can close it up, uh, closing up that hole, come to each one of these legs. These uh, panels here just fold onto the back of each of the legs. We come to the top here. Um, the arms will pull to the sides. This little panel here will just slide backwards. We can come to his hands and just fold out each one of the hands. And then we can take his uh, Titan Master here and complete um, full tilt here. And you can see you get a nice little deluxe size uh, transformer here. Uh, ball jointed shoulders, uh, bicep swivel, bend at the elbow 90 degrees, um, universal hips, thigh rotation, knee bend. Just a nice little extra, you know, new updated take here on uh, full tilt uh, for your collections. He can hold his uh, weapon and just peg it into his hand. And then again, do you again show how uh, full tilt here essentially is the same uh, size as your standard deluxe class uh, figure. So overall very nice. So we'll transform Trypticon here into his base mode or as the instructions call it, his assault dino base mode. You want to make sure that these guns are either, you know, they're not facing back to either side like this or up like that and take the entire head assembly and rotate it 180 and flip these guns and on the ratchets onto his back 
take the head and collapse it up. You want to come to his arms here and you can see there's a tab hole here and it corresponds to a tab here on the arm so we want to kind of close up the arm as much as possible. And again, there's a tab here. You just want to tab in the arm into the side. So we'll do that on both sides. Go ahead and curl up the arm and tab in that tab. And we can take these panels here and they will lift up onto his sides like so. And one quick note, if you ever have a problem where these kind of panels here, where the, uh, the legs kind of pull apart, where they're kind of loose, just come in here and uh, in the bottom and just make sure you press here and they'll lock into place. So now we'll take the figure and we'll lay him on his back. So we can straighten the tail and lay him on his back like that. And he'll lay on those, uh, his wheels. So take his leg here. We want to ratchet it up and straighten it out. And then before we do the next step, I recommend actually taking the leg here and splitting it in half. And you can see here, there's all these pegs and peg holes that kind of help lock it together, as well as this little stand. So you want to straighten out the leg so it's fully like that. And then now we can come to this turquoise tab here, press it, it'll not only unlock this half, but it'll actually unlock the mechanism so we can hinge back um, this part of the leg like so and have it go back. And we'll come back around to that side in a second. So again, straighten the leg and the uh, ankle tilt. Split it. Now we can use that button to unlock the two pieces and have it go back like that. So come to the legs here and rack them kind of however you want these platforms to be uh, positioned. Come to these toes, fold them up. Um, do make sure that you press um, underneath each one of these uh, hip ratchets here so they do lock into place, because they will lock into place. Uh, fold these ramps forward on each side. And flip up the toes. Come to these cannons in the back, lift them up skyward. Also stretch these spires. These panels here will kind of fold out as little platforms. And then we want to remove full tilts here, so unlock it, lift them up, take this uh, piece here and kind of move it forward. You can see he's got a little gun emplacement there. We can add full tilts. And then we can take the front of the vehicle here, or the, the base, and unpig this piece, and we've got a nice long ramp. And here we've got uh, LG43 Trypticon in a very long and tall uh, base mode. He's about 44 inches from uh, leg to leg when fully extended, and you do have this nice ramp here, but you can take a full tilt and it can roll down just as you did in the G1 toy. Very nice looking version of Trypticon's uh, base mode. In this case, his Assault Dino base mode. Taking a closer look at some of the detail up here for his base mode, you can see some new uh, sculpting has appeared as well as some new sticker um, placement. He does have a nice little kind of pass through here at his torso. And again, you have a whole lot of kind of different options of kind of placing figures. You do have little Titan Master pegs um, kind of throughout where you can take any Titan Master just like the other figures and kind of have them uh, put in different emplacements kind of across the figure. And if you really, really wanted to, um, each one of the uh, legs here does have this little uh, piece here which can be connected to other um, style uh, connectors like on uh, Blaster, Fort Max, etc. if you want to make a very large city mode. But overall, very nice looking uh, city mode here for Trypticon. So we'll go from his base mode to his uh, battle cruiser mode, which is pretty simple, not much different than this mode. You want to fold up these ramps on each side. And the one in the front here, these will fold down um, fully to the side like that. Take this piece, fold it down, move the cannons down. We can go ahead and cl collapse the cannons right now just for convenience. And now we want to come to the legs here. And so now we want to come to the legs and we want to uh, put them back together. So lift up and again, just make sure that the legs are kind of straight and all these pegs across the entire leg are all uh, lined up. And it can be just a bit tricky to get it lined up perfectly and bring it back down. And if you look, there's now this tab that matches this tab hole here. And you want to ratchet the leg forward until that tab locks into place and then point the toes. So we'll do the other side real quick. Lift up. 
make sure the leg, all the tabs and pegs line up. Ratchet it forward until that tab locks into place. These are the wings here, kind of fold out at a slight angle. So we just lift up on these little cannons here. And here is LG43 Trypticon in his battle cruiser mode. Not much different than his uh, base mode, um, but a nice homage to the G1 toy. Um, you can see that he does have the uh, dinosaur head here sticking out the back. That's uh, standard using the US version. But the, you know, the feature that this mode has is actually a little feature here in the front with this. So one, if you want to, you can just normally, you can lock uh, fold tilt here up top if you want to the standard way. But the alternative you have for this mode is the front up here, if we grab the two halves here and lift up on it, the entire piece here will hinge backwards. And there's now a cavity that we can put full tilt in or a different figure and they can be uh, kind of stored that way. And you can kind of see this has actually got a little bit of a kind of a monster head with the eye and such. And this nice little, just extra little bonus mode here that references the G1 toy. And you know, again, again making it so Trypticon is a triple changer. So let's go ahead and take a look at his uh, comparisons with other figures. Comparing LG43 Trypticon with his main rival Metroplex. Um, this is Generation Metroplex with some upgrade parts and some customizations. You can see the Trypticon here is a bit shorter overall than Metroplex. But when you take into account, you know, things like the length of his tail, his overall girth, and overall weight and amount of plastic, the two are comparable as far as kind of competing titans um, with one another. Um, same nice detail um, throughout both of them as far as uh, molded detail, sticker detail. And I think, you know, if they were set um, side by side here as uh, rivals across uh, your collection, I do think they work here at this scale as uh, matches for each other here in their uh, robot modes. Base mode comparison between the two titans. Um, here you see they're comparable in overall kind of scale and size as far as their base mode's concerned. Um, Trypticon here does feel a little bit bigger and a bit more cohesive than Metroplex's base mode. But you can see you can set up some nice setups here if you have enough space. And then real quickly, here's the kind of size difference between um, Full Tilt and Scamper on, um, um, for Metroplex. So you can kind of see how their little uh, car systems kind of scale um, side by side here. Very nice. To again show off his overall scale here, here's LG43 with some other deluxe class and legend class Decepticons here. And you can see here, having this nice monstrous uh, Decepticon version of Trypticon amongst these other Titans Return figures uh, does look good. And it's cool to have this nice updated take here of G1 Trypticon to kind of tower over your existing generation's uh, Titans Return collection. And here's a brief uh, base mode comparison with the other figures again. And you can see how well the Deluxe Class uh, Legends and Titan Master figures kind of scale with his base mode. This is just a nice play set, nice play pattern here. You can see the full tilt here in his robot mode looks really nice and scales well with other Deluxe Class figures. Just a nice looking uh, version of uh, Trypticon's base mode here. Some final thoughts here for Takar Tomy Legends LG43 Trypticon. Um, as stated earlier, the toy in the U.S. and Japanese markets are essentially the same as far as their plastic, paint, etc. But I believe you're going to get better QC um, from the Takar Tomy release here from their Legends line. I had absolutely zero qualms um, messing with his legs in different parts here. It feels very solid. I don't feel like I was going to mess up the ratchets at all. I think they've uh, most likely solved the issues that were present on some of the uh, U.S. releases of Trypticon here. Uh, the Chosen Prime currently does have uh, Takara uh, Trypticon here in stock and because he's over the uh, price limit he does have free shipping in the, in the continental US. So that is a nice little bonus if you wanted to add uh, Trypticon here to your collection. If you happen to be watching this video review sometime before September 8th, 2017, um, currently the Chosen Prime is uh, offering a uh, Harvey Relief charity raffle uh, for three different prizes and of course the uh, Harvey Relief is for uh, donations in support of the uh, recent hurricane that occurred in uh, Texas. And so there's currently three different raffles available from the Chosen Prime. Um, one of them is for a, uh, your own copy of LG43 here, uh, Trypticon. There's one for the uh, Bandai GX72 uh, Megazord. And there's also one for two VIP tickets to the next uh, TFCon. Um, each of the raffles is $5 a piece. They each go to individual causes from the Humane Society to the Red Cross. And so if you want to kind of add and help uh, support um, the, the efforts over in uh, Texas, you can uh, 
put your own raffle in. So go ahead and take a look at thechosenprime.com and uh, take a look at the raffles and uh, see if you can actually win your own copy of uh, Trypticon here. But as overall, I'm really happy with this version of Trypticon. I do think the Japanese release is a more solid release, so take care.